lead judge in the Oyo North Senatorial Election Petition Tribunal, Justice Onosike Unjaku, has adjourned seating till Saturday, July 22, for further hearing into a petition instituted by a court party candidate, uh, Shino Pella. Pella is contesting the declaration Abdul Fatai Buhari, APC's candidate, as the authentic winner of the February 25th Upper Legislative Chamber contest. Pella, who claimed that the poll were marred by perceived irregularities, which, according to him, contravenes uh, provisions of national of nations electoral act, wants the tribunal to nullify the process and declare him the winner. A correspondent, Olutayo Famous Co, who was in the court to monitor events, has more details in this report. In court today to challenge the result of the election of 2023 which we believed that um, INEC did not uh, uh, comply with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022 and also INEC regulations and guidance. You know, if they had uh, comply, I'm sure the result of the election would not have been what, you know, was uh, uh, announced. On the face of the documents you know we got the certified two copies of the results and then uh, we still went for the inspection of all the documents at the INEC office and we still try to we still check the results on the INEC portal so obviously the results were missing in five local governments Beavers uh, bypass and uh, overvoting cases of overvoting cases of results not being stamped Cases of uh, results being signed by a single person. Results, I mean results being signed by, by a single person. And then uh, uh, cases of mutilation and alteration. All these things violated the provisions of electoral act. With fairness to all manners of people. And in fact, my observation of them is the candor of a judge which the three of the judges possessed not getting irritated not getting annoyed with things that could easily annoy them and i feel they have been dodged all parties to all manners of petitions which is before which are before them not only limited to this one which we have appeared in court today so i do not see any reason for anybody to have any doubt as to having justice before them